Hi there, it's lovely to have a little giggle with you today. <laughs> okay, a big giggle. <laughs> oh, very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! You are extremely welcome, as opposed to just moderately welcome. <laughs> not so nice if you're only moderately welcome is it to be very welcome oh that's where it all happens that's where the good stuff is I'm Tove Kane welcome to some laughter yoga today for Tuesday so Tuesday choices you can choose miserable sad disconnected angry frustrated doubtful anxious hello Colin <laughs> You can choose laughter, optimism, energy, hope. A reasonably good choice there, I think. Uh, which way will you go? <laughs> We're at the threshold. <laughs> you know, in laughter yoga, we often do a warm up. And when we put our hands together like this, using the acupressure points, um, I often think, you know, you can make it like a river, like a stream. <laughs> And what happens when water encounters a problem? It doesn't go, oh, well, that's over. It's, it's altogether over. I can't do this anymore. I'm not good enough. It's never going to work. I've got so many problems. Nobody cares. Uh, you know, the kinds of things that we as human beings say. <laughs> no, when the river is flowing and then it comes to a problem, it either goes, hmm, I'll either go through or around. <laughs> Very good, very good, yay. So, you know what? The idea that life would ever have a space where there were no problems, it's just, I don't know why we even contemplate that idea because never in the history of ideas has that ever happened. <laughs> no, what we really want, what we really, really want is to try not to start singing Spice Girls at that very moment, but nevertheless, <laughs> la Noreen. <laughs> I mean, if you really want, if you really, really want to start singing them, you can. Uh, but what we really want is not that, is not a clean path. No, no, not at all. Because then we'd be bored, people. Bored, bored. What we want is resilience. Breathing in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> you can't keep holding it, can you? <laughs> The breath is teaching you right there and then what life's all about. We can't hold on to the breath. We can't hold on to people. We can't hold on to finances. The whole thing is about flow. So laughter yoga teaches us it's about breathing in and laughing it off. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Lisa works with me and she's got these Google Docs flying around and documents and we, we've got a whole lot of courses coming out on Podia real soon. To do with mindfulness, of course, <laughs> and laughter yoga. And of course, in order to understand what happens in my mind, because it gets a little busy up there, Lisa speaks Tovanese and it's brilliant. But in laughter yoga, we also speak gibberish. <laughs> Oh, I'm just getting a call. Hello? enables us to just come up with words that are just for fun because if we get too stuck in our own minds yeah we can get into arguments even with ourselves oh. <laughs> you know what um, I'm not so big. I don't know how you are, but I am not so big in relationship conflict. It's absolutely my worst and I don't know how you find it but when you're out and thank goodness soon we'll be able to go out, okay? But when you're out 
and there's that vibe between a couple. Is it not the worst when you can feel them being sort of undertone of nastiness with each other? Or they even sort of take it out to you in the discussion and sort of put each other down in front of each other? <laughs> it's my worst. Or the silent treatment. That's also just absolutely awful for me. But I, I'm yet to be in a relationship where I, I have tried this, but I, you know, I don't, it's not that I'm calling trouble, but I think this would be such a great diffuser. If you're in the middle of something really conflicted and conflicting between you and your partner, and you really are cross about something, whatever it is, let's say, let's say they, they have this propensity to leave the cupboard doors open. And you want to say, could you just close the door? Instead, you could just go, eh. <laughs> but do it with a laugh. At first, you'll see them get quite resistant. Like, what are you doing? Have you lost it? And then see if they'll use their motor neurons to smile and reflect back with you. Laughter can diffuse us. It can diffuse our rage. <laughs> Uh, and it can also help us process difficult emotions, you know, to be able to laugh and to cry. Now, we know that you can't laugh away tears. You have to cry them. And at the same time, even if you are sad, even if you're grieving, even if you're worried about the planet, about people, about, you know, friends that you have around the world, even if you are anxious financially and in your own relationship, perhaps you have a disease or you're struggling with health, mental, physical. That's not to say that because of all of those problems, you get stuck in your mind about them and don't let yourself laugh because even in the midst of all that you can just go <sighs> uh, try the lawnmower <laughs> childlike play of, uh, you know, just being creative and spontaneous and, um, yeah, just enjoy the fact that you could tap into that, that childlike play and play with life a little more. What do you want out of it? <laughs> you get a few turns around the sun, okay? And what? You're going to go, I always think this is a, this is a very good philosophy. <laughs> I always picture, it's called the deathbed meditation, and the deathbed meditation is, so now you've popped your clogs, okay, and let's not get too serious about it because we're all going to do it, so now the clogs have been popped, and so everybody comes to ask you, so tell me everything, what did you do, and you go, oh, um, well, I got really worried, and I spent 10 years getting over really toxic relationship. Um, I spent the majority of my adult life hating my body. And um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't step out as much as I might have wanted to. I, uh, in fact, what did I do? Hmm? I'm asking you the question. What do you want to do? And what can you do? I always think, start here, right now, such as it is, with what you have. And the thing that is most precious, because it's the last thing that you're going to do here, is the breath. So breathe in with me. And stretch and laugh it off. <laughs> Now, that's not to discount that you've got those issues, that you had the difficult relationship or the finances that were strained. But you're not going to change them by being stuck in the space, okay? We need to get you out of that space, out of your mindset, and into the creative thing of, well, you know what? Let me get crystal clear about the vision that I would prefer to hold for my life for such a long time. For example, 
it's been a dream of mine to share the teaching that I have. I've taught in presentation skills for a very long time. I teach people how to hold themselves for communication skills, for radio, for TV, and to be able to speak one-to-one -one in business. And for a long time, I wanted to d develop an an online course because I couldn't physically get to as many people as who needed the instruction or the learning of the experience. And I kept seeing every time I was teaching people, I was teaching them in their insecure state. And I knew I needed to help them transition. I needed them to transition from that pessimistic, stuck state of feeling anxious with negative critics saying they're not good enough or they're bad people or they'll never do it. I could see when I was teaching, I needed to help them to grow. You can't grow your business if you haven't grown yourself. So in that transformation, as I grew them and helped them to see that it was actually possible, that there were wonderful things attainable and available, and that they were going to create them themselves, then it showed me, yes, it's possible. What I'm showing them is actually mindfulness. I'm showing them mindfulness. And once laughter yoga came along, <laughs> I could show them the unconditional nature of being able to laugh right in the midst of crisis because that's what happens when we speak, when we present. We get really caught in the story of how stressed we are and we forget all about what the message is and how it's going to make a difference to the people who are listening. So the message is more about them than about the deliverer. So that was my dream for a long time. And of course, I had the negative and the critics going, who am I to teach? And it was like, hello, you've got 30 years of broadcasting. It's possibly a good idea. <laughs> hello, me again. She says, great advice. Thank you. So what did I do? I took my own advice. So I've got a course. It's available. I've got Mindful to Bountiful. It's a brand new course about teaching mindfulness practices. And my book, Mind Over Natter, here it is. Um, it's got... All of, uh, all of the exciting new um, additional workshops that we're giving you because it is about transformation and it doesn't happen like that. It takes time and you need somebody to be with you, to help you, <laughs> to laugh with you, to cry the tears with you that you need to cry. All the emotions are like rainbow. This is my personal invention and my gift to laughter yoga is my rainbow laughter. It starts like this. Start small. So it's where we generally start small. <laughs> but the more we laugh the more we can laugh so let's breathe in I made it get slightly bigger <laughs> and the more you do the more confident you get so let's make it a little bit bigger breathing in and <laughs> And now it's so huge, and so the whole world's got the rainbow. Hey! <laughs> hey, rainbow laughter. <laughs> so, thank you so much for choosing to spend some time today. What I was saying there is, I also had the negative inner critic, so I don't, I don't stand here talking without doing the walk. I used to do that. I used to uh, talk the talk, but not walk the walk. And now, 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 I'm all action. I'm all about walk the walk. Talk a little bit as you go. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh too if you can. <laughs> Laugh because it feels good. Laugh because you feel better. Laughter boosts your immunity. It boosts your sense of well-being. It brings more oxygen into your body. It moves muscles. It gets you believing in yourself again. It stimulates your mind and your body. And it also just creates a better, happier atmosphere. So laughter yoga is a fantastic, fantastic practice. And the breathing exercises in laughter yoga, and of course the stretching, Breathe with me in. Lovely. And hold that stretch. And laugh it off. <laughs> so what I was saying by uh, bringing in the idea that even I had dreams that I had left is it's never too late. 
If you have something that you want to do, remember when you've popped, popped those clogs and they come and they say, what did you do? Then you can say, well, let me tell you, it took me a while to get going, but after a while I started and then I did and it was fabulous. Wouldn't that be great? Yes, I think it would. Why? Because I think you're great. I think you're fantastic. Your contribution to this planet is significant. Why do I know that? If you weren't here, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> you are precious. Thank you. My heart of laughter to you. <laughs> Join me again next week for Tuesday, where we choose the bigger picture. We choose to have fun and bring laughter into your planning and preparation. Prepare to laugh, choose to laugh, and be prepared to laugh. I'm Tove Kane. Remember, I'm also going to be doing this uh, laughter session on Zoom soon. So we shall be moving it off uh, Facebook and onto Zoom. But I will give you the details so that you know. And you can come join me. And let's play the Brady Bunch on the screens. <laughs> if you're too young for that, well, it's okay. It's like, it's okay. <laughs> hey, have a lovely day. Be kind to yourself. And, uh, you know, those around you, it starts with you. <laughs>